Hey guys, this is Sarah Harbuck and with me is Mike Payne and today we're going to do another edition of the Payne Points of Interest podcast. Um, Our question today on Reddit comes from lowercase double zero and says, would you mind sharing your finance and accounting routines? I'm trying to understand how to... Uh, how the finance and accounting process works here in the U.S. In my country, we normally use a simple financial manager to uh, control cash flow and monthly uh, documents. Um, So anyway, they want to know a general, I guess, uh, accounting or finance information. Uh, Mike, you are much more of an expert in that than I am. (laughs) Yeah, and it doesn't even come close to the expertise uh, that many people have uh, over me. Like, Um, what would be the... If you're starting a small business, what would you tell a person to go get to help track their spending and their outflow and intake and all that stuff? Like something basic that a monkey could do. (laughs) Right. Okay. (laughs) Depending upon your type of business, okay, um, there are some options. But in general, I recommend uh, Wave Accounting, okay? It is simplified, so there are some things it doesn't do that I really would like to see it do, but it gets you by, especially if you're doing a professional services type business um, or it's anything like that. Than QuickBooks. You know, it's easier than QuickBooks. It's a little bit simpler, a little bit easier than QuickBooks. Okay. Um, but QuickBooks Online is an option, right? Um, and or a Google Spreadsheet. Well, I would only recommend <laughs> Google Spreadsheets if you have an accounting background, right? right? So yeah. at the core of this question is, what does the U.S. actually uh, follow and use mm-hmm. as a standard? Right. And we follow what's called the uh, GAAP, okay, uh, which is stands for, it's G-A-A-P, okay. right, which is for the, the reason for the little uh, um, it stands for the, uh, I think it's something like Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. Okay. Um, and it is a set of standard for double entry bookkeeping accounting. Okay. And um, a lot of these products like Wave take the user out of the double entry requirements. Okay. Double entry accounting is not for the faint of heart. Okay. No. It is, uh, it is, th- that double entry accounting is the reason why so many people struggle with accounting it classes makes my in head college. hurt just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, but it's all about how you move money around. Um, so the, the wave, uh, zero is another one. X E R O. Okay. is another good online tool, uh, for business owners. If you have a little bit of money to spend. See, the thing about wave is wave is free. Yeah. Zero will cost you like 30 bucks a month. Yeah. Right. So it's not it's not cost prohibitive. It just depends on how cheap you want to be. Right. right? Or what's your startup cost and what you don't want to, you know, you want to if you don't want to spend your thirty dollars a month on something like that and you want to put it in something else, you could start off with wave first. Right. And if it's not meeting your needs, always move into something else. Right. I mean, obviously, we would recommend, you know, if you have the money and the funds to do so, hiring an accountant or someone to get you started would probably not be the worst idea ever. And you don't even need to go full CPA, yeah. right? I mean, um, Someone a good, who does simple a good bookkeeping. bookkeeping company, yeah. you know, somebody who provides bookkeeping services. You know, if you're on, uh, if you're trying to run a business and you're not on LinkedIn, uh, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. First, uh, I, I, I want everyone out there to know, I, I can say this, that um, 100% of the business that pain points does is through LinkedIn is through LinkedIn at this point in time. Yeah. Now we want to change that. Right. But 100% of the business is because of LinkedIn. Yeah. The networking you can do on there and the connections you can make. It's like Facebook for business guys, in case you didn't know. Yeah. And, and, and the reason I mentioned LinkedIn is because that's where you'll find bookkeepers. Mm-hmm. Okay. You'll find people who will do, uh, provide bookkeeping services. Now, I know in this area of the country, which is East Texas, um, you can find uh, basic bookkeepers um, for somewhere, excuse me, between three hundred and seven hundred dollars a month. Okay. Now, if your needs are less than that, you know uh, it may be it may be you know something you do yourself, um, but uh, uh, you can have a bookkeeper come in and set up your set up your accounting. Right, and kind of walk you through this is your day to day, what you need to do. Yeah, you'll pay them like a one time fee for them to come in and do that, and then you have to maintain it every month. Okay. Now, when it comes to, um, when it comes to uh, cash flow, this is something I actually have a problem with with most pieces of software, QuickBooks included. 
Cash flow is extremely difficult, and I don't know why, to get in very basic pieces of software. Like to chart it? To, to really have a good visualization on what your cash flow is. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So the thing about it is most of us don't think of cash flow uh, the way that a lot of businesses do it. I think the standard thing for most people who deal with money every day, whether that be business or personal finances, right? Cash flow is a matter of up-to-date information shown in a transaction log, Mm -hmm. right? And then project it out. So think about your bank register, right? Yeah, when like you the, log in online and you right. see this is all the money that's gone I, through your account, and where's your balance? I sent this debit over here, and then I right. put, deposited this check, and then I, you know. Cash flow at its simplest level, if you're doing like one bank account, right, and invoices coming in, payments going out, right, it's doing that same exact thing, right, except instead of stopping at the actual last transaction that went through the account, you take your, your calendar of bills, what you expect to pay and what you expect to be paid to you, mm-hmm. and you add it to that list. So it's projecting what the next month will be like. It's projecting Based the on next weeks, the next months, mm-hmm. however far out you project your cash flow okay. to try to find what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to understand that in this bank account, my expectation is to have this much money in it at all times. This is my this is my bottom line. Yeah. If your bottom line is zero dollars, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, you but should I should always have, have a cushion. I should have this much money in my account at all times, right? And um, and the 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 cash flow projection will show you if you're going to be in a situation where your cash flow doesn't meet that requirement, and that's what you're trying to get to. You're trying to make sure you understand it. and not. I do not know of a good tool right now in Wave Zero. Maybe QuickBooks has something, but I don't. If it has it, not a lot of people are using it, mm-hmm. right? To really show that kind of projected cash flow, it's cash flow is really a combination of, um, you know, current state of the account, previous transaction that has gone through, and your budget mm-hmm. over time periods. It's it's a it is a relatively complex thing yeah. that can be displayed very simply as just a a, a projected transaction ledger. Okay. Well, I mean, that was always my difficulty when I was running a business that, you know, I would try to, on a weekly basis, keep track of my expenses and my income. And, you know, I used QuickBooks for a while and it was confusing to me um, (laughs) because that's just not my forte. Um, So I didn't know about some of these other options available. So that's good to know. I hope somebody else has learned something new today that um, I did not know back in the day would have helped me a little bit, maybe. Um, so yeah, yeah, finances, that's a that's a huge topic. Um, but I think we got a, a little bit of a, a start, a baby step there on kind of giving you guys a direction to go in. And if you guys have any more questions or comments or you want to add to it something you guys have used that has helped you, um, send, us a, send us an email. You can find us on our website at www.painpoints.com. You can find us on LinkedIn and Facebook at Pain Points, Instagram at pain.points, and Twitter at Points Pain. So guys, that's it for us today. Come back tomorrow and we'll have another topic for you.